I saw this story in today's New York Times that black voters drift from Democrats. Now, I've been around the block a few years, so it made me think, where have I heard this before? I did a little search on Al Gore's internet and found almost exactly the same story 20 years ago in, you guessed it, the New York Times. Then it was young black voters drift away from Democrats, but it's essentially the same message. The media has been pushing this message for decades now. By the way, y'all got me in these streets on a Saturday debunking misinformation, but here we go again. Yes, there was some truth to the story 20 years ago. Young black voters were not exactly excited to vote for Democrat John Kerry in 2004. But then four years later, Democrats nominated Barack Obama, and young black voter turnout soared from 49% to 58%, the highest of any racial group in America. So what does all this mean? Well, we have to be careful of reading too much into the polls. Polls only give us a snapshot of public sentiment at any given moment in time, but actual votes determine elections. And when it comes to black voters, polls often operate from smaller sample sizes that cause statistical noise and distortions. Republicans then weaponize these polls to depress black voter turnout. They don't expect to win the black vote, they just want fewer black people to vote. Then the media act as co-conspirators by pushing misleading narratives about black voters. Some might call it gaslighting. We saw the same trend four years ago when 538.com reported that young black voters may be inching toward Trump. The polls predicted Biden would only get 71% of the young black vote. But when the smoke cleared, Biden won 86 to 87% of young black voters. Even more impressive, Biden won 84% of young black men and 90% of young black women. And let me tell you, the black Republicans are the worst when it comes to misinformation. They're so desperate to validate themselves in that lily white world of the GOP that they promote the farcical fiction that black people are abandoning the democratic plantation and a mass flexit to embrace Trump. Four years ago, they claimed that Trump was gonna get 30% of the black vote in 2020. He got 8%. But the media played along with stories like black voters not sold on Biden, which ran in the Detroit Free Press in October 2020. A few weeks later, the same newspaper reported that Biden won Michigan because black voters pushed him to 94% of the vote in Detroit. And now they're doing the same thing in 2024. Young black voters may be swing voters now, and black voters drift from Democrats in paralleling Harris's bid. Look, it's a weekend. Take a deep breath and relax. The truth is Kamala Harris is leading in all the major poll averages. The New York Times, 538.com, Nate Silver, and even the right-wing real clear politics average. But that doesn't mean she's gonna win. Polls don't vote. People do, and we won't know what's really gonna happen till election day. So unless you're a professional political operative, get off the poll sites. Polls are gonna go up and down from now until November 5th, and the time you spend worrying about them is time you could invest working to get your friends, family, and neighbors to vote. So if you really wanna help, get out of your feelings, get your head in the game, and GLTV, get out the vote.